Well, what's going on guys? I got an out of the box style video today as we're gonna test out a $9 Husky pocket knife from Home Depot. Let's just see what it takes to snap the tip here. I'm sure it's gonna snap right here. Oh my gosh. I'm sure I'm not the only one that either needs a backup blade, an emergency blade, or just have one in the tool bag. Uh, when I was an electrician, I always had a few different, you know, replaceable bladed, you know, box cutter style knives, as well as just beater tools. So let's find out how tough it is, but also if it's even worth purchasing. Okay, so here's like a $50 cold steel that we're gonna use to open up this guy. Okay. And I'll be curious how even the footage and audio shows up. I'm doing some testing with some batteries and some settings on my GoPro. So this is all shot without a mic on my GoPro. So we'll see how that all <laughs> turns out at the end of the video. But we don't have a lot of information. So we have a, a limited lifetime warranty. We know it's made in China and it's a stainless steel blade. That's about it with a nylon handle. That's all we really know. So initial feeling is fit and finish is decent there's definitely you know like a lip here with that nylon handle scale you know got some decent texture reminds me of like a cold steel g10 loop over deep ride pocket clip tip down and not reversible even though it's a lock back with ambidextrous thumb studs so lefties there's no like way to you know swap it been excellent if they had had it tipped down and they could have made that then right or left but again this is sub ten dollars the uh, tip is buried in there so you're definitely not going to accidentally nick yourself or you know pull it out uh good thumb studs right there let's just do an initial okay action seems decent you drop it. Okay, I can close it and open it one-handed. Little wrist flick. That lock back is positioned in such a way that I can engage that and then do that drop and then close it. Uh, runs on Teflon washers in here, from what I can tell. And Tanto, again, blade. I'm gonna say full hollow. That, that tip, we're gonna do some tip testing. We'll see what happens. Definitely the secondary grind here is yeah, it definitely looks like a hollow grind to me. Pretty thin, but definitely some side to side rock you know, and I can feel a little bit of flexing on that back spine. Lock, the, the lock back, I can feel just a little bit. Yeah, there's definitely some like doo 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 going on. So torque screws throughout, fills out the hand well. Let's see what happens when we start using it. I'm gonna give it the benefit of the doubt that it's 8CR. I doubt it, but it's probably 8CR 13 MOB steel. Okay, nice, not a bad factory edge. We'll see how it holds up after I do some testing with it. All right, so let's start with some cardboard slash. Breaking down some boxes here. Let's do some clean cuts, I don't like that. That's nice. All right, not bad, so far so good. I mean, that's a pretty decent little tear down of several cardboard boxes, and I was happy with how it was slicing through that. I really like the, the tip. The tip definitely pierces well. I'm happy with that. License seems to still be doing pretty good. So if you work construction, you know, heavy duty gloves, you gotta be able to manipulate your tools, particularly if you're working cold weather, you know, winter time. So I can do that. I can disengage the lock and then I can open it without difficulty. And the handle is still big enough that I feel like I have good lock up on it with big, you know, leather gloves on. So that's a positive. What about some of that strapping? Hmm, let's see. Okay, just barely missed it. That might have just been a bad stroke. Let's do that again. There we 
There we go. That's pretty good. I could definitely feel a little resistance. Just one more here. Okay. Yeah, not bad. And for the size of blade, probably a three inch blade is what I would say. Get after some rope. Yep. Now hemp rope freaking sucks. Let's see what that does. Yeah, not bad though. I was able to get that through that without much difficulty. Okay, kind of eating, eating that up. Yeah, definitely gotta do some sawing. So not like a super, super fine edge. Definitely a little toothy on that edge, I would feel. bike tubing, rubber bike tubing. Yeah, sweet. Oh man, okay, so I can definitely feel a lot of movement in that spine lock for the lock back, like the locking portion on the spine. I can definitely feel movement. It doesn't feel secure. So I'm gonna be very curious when I do the lock test here in a minute. Not, I mean, there's, there's a lot of tolerance and a lot of play, but crappy piece of wood. Let's see here, there we go, that's better. There we go. It's not bad. I mean, definitely wouldn't be a knife. I would go take hiking, but cutting through some wood there. It's decent. It's biting it okay. Gosh, oh man, I can feel <laughs> my index or my ring finger is right there on that lock, and so I can just feel it moving all over the place. It feels sketchy. Let's do some uh, some zip ties here. So that tip is nice because it can get underneath there and then you just kind of, you know, push and pry. There we go. Yeah, not bad. I've seen some pretty dumb stuff in my life. People doing stuff at uh, construction sites. So I'm just going to cut metal. So finish, I mean, it's a beater knife, but finishes wearing off right away when you start doing crazy stuff like that. Okay, so we're about to do the idiot tests. Um, you know, so went through a ton of cardboard, hemp rope, all the stuff that your guys have seen. The factory edge seemed pretty decent. And I can tell it's a little toothier now, but you know, I mean, it's still cutting pretty well for some very cheap, basic, you know, stainless. But now we're gonna get real dumb and just see how strong this lock is. Just what are like the limitations of the tool. Oh, that did it right there. <laughs> that broke it. So just a few spine thwax. Oh yeah, it's not. It's not even really fixable. <laughs> that loosened up the entire blade. The blade's toast, or the, the lock is toast. It's not, yeah, if I tap it down, it kind of sort of works, but that, that broke it right there. Just some light spine thwacking, which I, I would be able to put definitely like a cold steel verdict, like this one through, let's just do it for like just a normal, you know, lock back. There, so same piece of wood. Yep, nice, good and solid there. So disappointing, I would have liked to have at least that gone through that one piece of wood. Let's just see the lateral strength um, and maybe some tip strength here. I'm just gonna put it into a, um, is this a pallet? Okay, so you gotta be careful because the locking mechanism is totally jacked. Let's just see here. So I'm gonna get that pretty far back there near that. I mean, you could look at that. <laughs> yeah, that, that's some. <laughs> just about. <clears throat> that's insane. I mean, it's tough. I mean, that's good. Let's see. I got it out. Yeah, now it's just flexing. 
<laughs> That's crazy that that thing is doing that. So, I mean, at least it's, it's tough, but it just shows how cheap probably. I mean, it's you know, just a basic stainless. Let's just see what it takes to snap the tip here. I'm sure it's going to snap right here. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I bent it, though. Yeah, so this is like super, super stop, soft steel. camera to focus here <laughs> we won't snap the tip you're gonna bend it without too much difficulty all right so <sighs> i mean the steel is kind of tough i mean that's kind of crazy uh but it, it didn't know i mean go you know spend three times as much i know but you can get some decent blades out there and it just to me wouldn't be worth uh the lack of i'm sure edge retention over just a little bit longer and just how fast that lock gave out and how weird and flexy it was i, I just wouldn't do it so there you have it guys to me that husky pocket knife not really worth it but i want to hear from you guys one do you like this kind of style just a little bit different let me know how the audio turned out in the video if you're like hey man it sounds great if you're like oh man it's terrible on my end um and uh yeah leave comments below let me know other gear that you want me to test out like this it's maybe a little outside the norm and uh leave a comment subscribe if you haven't yet until next time always remember stay equipped stay prepared and i'll see you out there